<sighs> Wait. Why am I here again? Oh, that's right. I'm on a mission to Callisto. One of Jupiter's largest moons. I'm guessing we're almost there. Well, I'm almost there. There's no one else on the ship. Let's see. Got some spare supplies. Probably some food. The mission was to go and find some life out there. But, um home. I'm not too sure whether there will be life out there. Hey computer. Yes sir. Uh, status report. We are currently two years into the journey to Calistia. We are almost there as it typically takes between eight years, well usually up to eight years to get there or under just under two years. Wow. That's actually informational. Where'd you learn this? I am a computer and I have all information in our dang banks. On Earth. Huh. Okay. So, um, is the ship alright? Apart from a few minor inconveniences, the ship is fine. It is perfectly operational, apart from one small minor factor that is okay. And what is that small minor factor? We can't be messing around in space, you know. If the, the, the whole ship explodes, I die, right? Not necessarily. However, due to the fact of an asteroid field we had to cross through earlier, one of the ship's engines is damaged. How damaged? Well, damaged to the fact that it's about to explode. Wait, what? It is about to explode. Why didn't you tell me this when I woke up? I didn't find it necessary. Why not? The ship is about to explode and I could die and you just... Never mind. I am panicking, I am panicking, and I hate it. Uh, I don't really need any of that. Anymore. Why did they insist on having so on me. Um, let's see, wrench, some, some a grapple, some rope. Uh, when's the ship going to explode? Ah, get out of the chair. Um, very soon. Okay, well, I'm gonna have to take the escape pod. Um, okay, uh, just type in the coordinates. Uh, go, please. And the ship will explode in three, two, one. Shoot. Oh, fuck. Okay, okay, we're screwed. Okay, I'm going to take a lot of bad hits from this. Hopefully, I can slow down. Ah! God damn it. Okay. Okay. Ah, that must be the base. Ah, that's gonna hurt. <clears throat> okay, let's just get over there. I can tell it's a base by the, the, the power. They told me there'd be a base here on Calicia. How can I, it's probably like Uranus, the planet that is next door to this planet. Ah, damn it. Not this planet, this is a moon. Oh, poof, I forgot about gravity. Okay. Oh. Seems like they, um, first place before I got here. Oh look. A droid that's floating. That's very futuristic. Hello, little droid. 
Hello there. How can I help you today? Uh, do you have a... Never mind. Uh, okay. Uh, well, my name's Ethan. Um, I'm here to help. Okay, thank you, Ethan. Um, I'll be sure to... Yeah. Why is his name spelled wrong? Ah, uh, doesn't matter. <sighs> Damn it. Okay. This isn't very medically supplied, is it? Maybe it's in... Not in here, maybe it's in the storage room. Is this a storage room? Yeah. Ah. Uh, it's gotta be in some of these boxes. Food, weapons, armor, food. Might be in this one. Off. Okay, that was my leg bandaged up. I should be fine. You little broken bones never failed me anyway. <clears throat> Let's go talk to Ethan. I want to know why his name is spelled wrong. Hi, Ethan. Uh, hey, there, um, whoever you are. How can I help? Okay, well. First of all, I'm going to introduce myself. Hi, I'm Zoracic. Sorry I didn't introduce myself earlier. I had a bit of a busted leg. It's a miracle that our medicines can heal us very quickly now. Oh, really? Why is that? Well, back in the olden days, before space travel was more better, we we human well humans used to take up to six weeks to heal a broken bone. Now it takes like six seconds or something like that. Wow, that is impressive. Anyway, how can I help you today? Well, I was wondering why your name is spelled wrong. Don't ask. The person who spelled my name didn't know how to spell it. So yeah. What's this black stuff hovering around you? Oh, I, I honestly don't know. I, I've given up trying to explain stuff. I've been here since like 2025. Really? Huh. It's 2030. It's been five years and I've been stuck on this stupid moon. Uh, that doesn't help. Well, the last people were here, set up this place, and they left. They even give the village, uh, they even built that settlement over by the area, but they just left. No reason, to be honest. They thought the planet was dead. Is it? No. It's perfectly alive, but, um... Hey, you can breathe in here, so uh, you can take off that uh, armor if you want. Oh, really? Yeah, it's got oxygen in here. Surprisingly, it's from the bushes. Okay, I'll, I'll trust you. Um, uh, like, like this. H how's that? Oh, I am actually breathing. See, I told you. Did you actually doubt you were gonna breathe? Yeah, for a second there I was gonna die. I thought I was gonna die. Even got a parachute, which didn't work. Yeah, that happens. Anyway, uh... Why are you here? Well, my mission was to explore this planet and see if there was any life on it. Huh. Okay, well that's not my problem. You do whatever you wish and I'll keep this base up to spec and tell you what's what, okay? Okay, uh, Ethan. I'm sorry, that that looks very much like... Ethan. Yeah, I, I, I honestly don't know. Maybe they were drunk, I don't care. Okay, well, um... 
Might if I explore? Go ahead. Okay. Is this a map of Earth? No, it's a map of Neptune. Of course it's a map of Earth. You idiot. Okay, thank you. It's very pretty. Yeah, it depends how you look at it. Okay. Why is this place dark? I have no clue. It's got a lot of lamps because of the darkness. Most of this place has collected a little bit of dust over the years, but um, should be fine. Yeah, I can see that. Maybe some of the lights went out as well. Hmm. That's the med bay, although it hasn't got any medical stuff in it. Yeah, I saw that. It's more of sleeping quarters for humans. Where do you charge your batteries? I just stand outside or I take what's on the, um, uh, what do you call them? The things that gather sunlight. The, uh, solar panels? Yeah, apart from they're not very effective. Right. How's this whole place powered then? I don't know. I'm not gonna question it. Don't suggest you do. Okay. And this is the storage room. Yeah. The storage room is actually a uh, very, you know, storagey. You might want to have a look in there. Okay. Oh, wow. Lots of food. Yeah. They were building up the food supplies um, before everything else. Okay. Um, I guess I should get some rest then. Yeah, probably. Since you busted your leg and I have no idea where you come from, you probably do need some rest. Okay, so for two and a half, nearly, like two, I slept for two years, but may as well. Right, you slept for two years just to get here? Yeah, it takes between like 18 months and eight years to get here. Wow. Well, to Neptune that is, anyway. One of its moons could be shorter, longer, we don't actually know. Okay. Well, you got here pretty quickly then. Um, go sleep and um, you'll be fine, I suppose. Okay, well, thank you. Oh yeah, night. Or day or whatever. Okay, bye. Oh, he's an interesting little fellow. Can't wait to see what this planet is all about. Huh. That guy does seem nice. However, he will be much needed for our plans later. I have to go contact the village elder. It seems we may have a way off this planet to dominate the world. Ha 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 ha. I should keep quiet though. Don't want that Zoracic. More like Lemastic. Something stupid like that. I don't really care. He's lame and he's stupid and he's dumb. He's perfect to manipulate. I gotta go talk to the villager elder now. Uh, hopefully we can get off this planet. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> <laughs>